the best and worst tires on the road for 2021. Hello, it's Elizabeth from the Homework IT. With the help of the trusted tire professionals of Longview Auto and Tire, we've cooked up a great tire show just for you because there's more to a tire than just black and round. I hope you're pumped up and ready to go, because I am. Well, remember, you can use the chapters feature on the bottom edge of the video to fast forward to exactly the part you're looking for. Here's the menu for today. The appetizer. What are the best and worst tire brands? The meat and potatoes. How should you actually choose your new tires? And for dessert, we share the winners in several categories. You know to sweeten the deal and send you away full of new information. Let's roll. In a recent survey, we asked Homework Guy viewers which brand of tires they thought were the best. We derived this list of top tire brands of 2021 according to automoblog.net. More specifics are coming later in the video. So for now, number one, Michelin, best overall tire. Number two, Goodyear, best for durability. Three, Cooper, most affordable. Bridgestone, best for run flat tires, which means you have time about 100 miles to get to a repair shop. Number five, Pirelli, best for high performance. And rounding out the top 10 are BF Goodrich, Continental, Yokohama, General, and Hankook. Viewers only voted on the top five, and here are the results from 2,400 votes. And thank oh. you to everyone who participated. Michelin at 54%, Goodyear 17%, Bridgestone 12%, Cooper 10%, and Pirelli 7%. The support for Michelin is quite easy to see. Michelin leads the industry in innovation and trust and has a proven track record for quality and longevity. Additionally, most of the voter comments listed in the survey are to reaffirm how great their Michelin tires work for them. Secondly, many, many people commented on how good Continental tires are. Thank you for the insight. According to MechanicBase.com, the worst tires of 2021 are Chow Yang, Good Ride, Westlake, AKS Tires, Telluride, and Compass Tires. You could easily sum this list up by saying cheap Chinese tires. China actually exports 65 million tires out to the world each year without good safety checks and using substandard materials, I might add. You can't always tell by looking at these tires that they are ripoffs, but the difference lies in the quality, safety, brake distance, and durability. So let's break down the basics on how to choose tires. First, it depends on your vehicle type. Passenger tires are for vehicles that are designed to carry mostly passengers and stuff like sedans and crossovers. They include summer tires, which are used exclusively in warm weather conditions, rain or shine above 40 degrees. All season tires, which can be used in many different road conditions, including some mud and snow. Most vehicles simply come with all season tires, which for most drivers in most climates is acceptable. Touring tires, which are made for more comfortable drives and have some additional handling capabilities and performance tires they are made for speed, control, and grip. Then there are truck and SUV tires, and they're designed for bearing weight, so these types of tires have a different breakdown. Small SUVs only need passenger tires, and larger SUVs require truck tires. The first type is highway tires, which are designed for high load capacity in long distance travel. Think pulling your camper or horse trailer all around the country. There are mud and terrain tires, they're for off-road drivers who like to live on dirt roads or just are plain adventurous and all-terrain tires, which have sort of the best of both worlds for four-wheel drive vehicles. Don't forget snow tires and studded tires as well. These are the best traction tires in snow for all vehicle types. All you people up north and you mountain dwellers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You are not leaving home for four or five months a year without your snow tires. The difference from summer to winter tires is that winter tires come in a really soft compound, so the summer heat would just eat them up quickly. So where do you start, right? Car and Driver has a great article about how to choose new tires for your car. Here are some good questions to ask yourself when you start shopping around. What type of tires does your car actually need? So, based on your vehicle type, your weather type, what kind of tires actually fit your needs? Is it necessary to change your tires for summer and winter? Maybe you need to own two actual different sets of tires. Number two, how many miles will the tires need to last? For example, if you don't have far to drive and you always stay on paved roads, you could get away with cheaper tire brands and prices. Do you go 10,000 miles a year or 30,000 miles a year? And how often do you want to be in the repair shop? If you can go 365 days without having a single flat, you could call it a good year. <laughs> Number three, how much do you want to pay? That's the big question. Peace of mind and the correct type of tire are big considerations. And how often do you want to buy new tires for your budget? Number four, should I get the same tires again or upgrade? 
If you're happy with the tires you have and they're still being made, at least you can judge how long these tires last you and your driving habits. If you know you need better tires or you simply move to a new climate, etc., you should upgrade to the correct type, especially if you're concerned about the tire performance. Okay, next it's time to search online or call a tire shop. Look at your current tires and punch in the information you see printed there. It'll look something like 245-40R18. That's the actual size designation you need. Keep in mind that you can't always just put in your vehicle make and model to get the right tire. For example, a two-wheel drive F-150 has different tire specs than a four-wheel drive. It's best to look at the tire, check your owner's manual, and talk to a trusted tire professional to make sure it's the right choice. Once you have the size, compare the brands and model of tires based on the following. Number one, traction, or how well your tires grip the wet road. Tires with the highest traction rating are double A and then single A, less traction is B and C. Next is tread wear. This estimates how long your tires will last based on a score of 100. So a tire with a score rating of 500 should last five times as long as does the tire at 100. There's temperature ratings, which measure a tire's heat resistance. With the highest resistance being A and then B and C is less, think sitting on the interstate in LA for two or three hours a day. And for trucks and SUVs, you need to check the load range. The load range indicates the heaviest load the tire can handle in pounds. This varies a lot on tires for off-roading and trucks and SUVs in general. If you look on the door post of your vehicle, you can find the recommended load capacity and tire pressure ratings that you need. Here are some practical tips for tire maintenance to maximize the life of the tires no matter which you choose. Number one, check your tire pressure once a month if you can. If you have a tire pressure sensor, it's still a good idea to whip out the gauge and make sure it's accurate. Underinflated or overinflated tires don't break and perform as well as they should. It is normal for tires to lose one pound per month, and when the weather cools down, it's normal for your tire pressure to drop even more, so check monthly. Most tire shops are happy to do this for you for free if you just swing by. At least, it used to be free to fill up your car tires with air, but now it costs $1.25. You know why? Inflation. Number two, check your tread monthly and before the seasons change. Most tires have tread wear indicators that run horizontally across the tire. When you see it, the tire is worn down below 2 30 seconds of an inch and it's time to get it changed. And if your tires look like a baby's behind, you waited too long. <coughs> Number three, balance and rotate your tires to avoid uneven wear and have a better overall driving experience. Number four, if you buy two tires at a time, buy the exact same kind. Put the two newer tires in the driving wheels and rotate the other two out. If you're upgrading, etc., you'll need to buy all four tires for the best performance. Mismatched tires don't save you any money in the long run. Don't overload your vehicle. Don't drive with a donut or improper spare for too long. And don't wait until your tires are on their deathbed to replace them. Okay, so let's get back to the actual tire brands and models. According to cartalk.com, here are some of the winners in each category. Best all season tires are the Michelin Cross Climate 2, Continental Pure Contact LS, Yokohano Avid Ascend GT, Pirelli Centurado P7 All Season Plus 2, Bridgestone Tehran's A Quiet Track. For best performance tires, we have Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, Continental Extreme Contact DW S06, Goodyear Eagle Exhilarate, General G Max AS05, Pirelli P0 All Season Plus. Best truck tires, Michelin Defender LTX MS, Continental Terrain Contact. A lot of you said that in the survey. Cooper Discoverer AT3 4S, Goodyear Wrangler Trail Runner AT, and Pirelli Scorpion All Terrain Plus. Best Passenger Tires Michelin Cross Climate 2, Continental Pure Contact LS, Yokohama Avid Ascend GT, Bridgestone Toronza Quiet Track, Pirelli Centurado P7 All Season Plus 2. Best SUV and Crossover Tire Michelin Cross Climate SUV. Continental Cross Contact LX25, Cooper Discoverer SRX, Pirelli Scorpion Verde All Season Plus 2, BF Goodrich Advantage TA Sport LT. In Best Winter Tires, we have Michelin X Ice XI3, Continental Viking Contact 7, Bridgestone Blizzic WS90, Cooper Discoverer True North, and Goodyear Ultra Grip Winter Ice WRT. It's clear there's still a lot more to talk about when it comes to tires, so the Homework Guide team will publish a part two on this tire series. Please put your comments and questions below and we'll build the next tire show with your feedback. Tell us, Homework Guide viewers, what else do you want to know? 
All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with your family and friends. Comments matter because they help boost our searchability and keep the great homework guy content out there for years to come. The entire homework guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. As Kevin always says, you guys rock. I'm the amazing Elizabeth. Gotta go.